She has no education. Uh, she's not the daughter of Calibia of uh, Calibre. She, she does not come from the citadel of the secret. She, she's not from Roman hierarchy of uh, Jewish antiquities. She's a poor, ghetto, Palestine, single mother. Some of y'all will have talked about her. She pregnant and ain't even married. I see we're gonna be here a long time in the day. But I ain't got nowhere else to go. Say it right now. Beloved, when God chooses somebody, yeah, yeah. it ain't none of your business or my business who God chooses to you. It's up to God's will and God's good counsel. You can never be too good for God to use, but thank God you also can't be too bad for God to use. God can use you not because of your goodness, but because of his grace. It does not matter your education, your charm, your wit, your persona, your pedigree, your DNA. You may speak several languages fluently. You may be able to quote a plethora of scripture, or you might used to be a cousin sailor like Peter. It does not matter who you are, where you're from, what you got, where you live, what you drive. God can use anybody. If God can use anybody, that means he can use me. Yes, I want you to see, beloved, there are six Marys of note in the New Testament. There's this Mary, Mary, the mother of Jesus. There's Mary, the mother of the Apostle James, also known as, in Scripture as James the Lesser. There's Mary of Bethany, who was the sister of Lazarus and Martha. There's Mary Magdalene, you might remember her. Uh, she had seven demons. Uh, she used to work uh, in the red light district. Uh, I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say. Uh, Mary Magdalene used to make it rain. I'm trying to help my young people here. It just gives me. I see you brothers know what I'm talking about. Keep it, don't, don't, don't grab me while they Amen. And, uh, uh, but, but Mary Magdalene was a, a woman who had a, a kind of a shady reputation. Uh, Mary, the mother of John Mark, who was the sister of Barnabas, and Mary of Rome, who Paul spoke of in his epistolary to the church at Rome. Now notice when Mary, this teenage girl, the mother of Jesus, was visited by Gabriel. Gabriel is an archangel. I, I need to, can I take my time here? Uh, I'm like Morgan David Wine. We make no wine before it's time. I, 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 take, I need time to build up here. Uh, archangel visits Mary. Uh, when God had important business, he, he didn't send a regular angel. Uh, there, there are several archangels in the Bible of no, uh Gabriel and Michael and Raphael and Sinclair. The, when God had important business, he didn't send the run of the mill angel. He sent the big boys. Uh, uh, he sent Gabriel to visit uh, Mary and said to Mary, I have an announcement. You've been found favor in the sight of God. Uh, you and Joseph are is found uh, engaged. And, and I know Joseph is a carpenter, uh, but, but, but what happened was they were engaged, but they had no sexual activity. Uh, they, they were going to get married, but they didn't live like they were married before they were married. I, 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 I'm going somewhere. If you say amen, I won't park there. I just keep on driving. We need more people now who wait till they're married. Amen. Before they live like they're married. I, I know everybody makes mistakes. I'm not here to beat on it. But, but, but wouldn't you and I be better off if we just do it God's way? Say amen when you can. See, there's no ambiguity here because when, when, when the angel visits Mary, she says to him, how can I be pregnant when I have not known a man? Uh, Y'all read the record. And, and, and the same angel went, went to Joseph and said, this thing is of God. And I'm like Joseph. If, if Sister Pam come up pregnant and I've been going a year and a half and I get back to six months pregnant, I need two angels, three angels, four angels. I need an email. I need a text message. I, I need something. 
on Facebook, I need to talk to a doctor, a lawyer, a preacher, a priest. Somebody gonna have to tell me something. I got a feeling I ain't by myself. You know you ain't been bad. Your wife, she pregnant? And then she got the nerve to say this thing of God. This past things to talk to Mary and to talk to Joseph gave her the blessed assurance that this thing is of God. Let me move with phonetic speed, beloved. Notice Mary is from Nazareth, her name is Mary, and she's from Nazareth. Nazareth in the Bible is an infamous place. John chapter 1, you remember the question was asked, can anything good come out of Nazareth? In the etymology of the word Nazareth, it means place of germs. If y'all knew what I'm trying to say, this. she's from a germicidal place. But she's carrying the best gift. Her name is Mary. The etymology of the word Mary means bitterness. It, uh, there's some uh, uh, synonym names, Martha and Myra and Mary Ann. The etymology of the word Mary is bitterness. Come here, folks. God chose a bitter woman from a bad place to bring the best gift. That's why you don't never have to hang your head because you black. Because you were, it's not where you're from, it's where you're going. You can't control how you go. But you can control how you die. Mary is from Nazareth. Her name means bitterness. So God chooses to use a bitter woman from a bad place to bring the best gift. Ain't God something? I came by to tell you, quit judging people on how they look on the outside. Quit judging people by external things. Quit judging me by how I dress and how I look and what I drive. The total of a man or woman is not on what we have on the outside. It's not what we possess on the inside. Her mama didn't know all that. Her mama just said, you can't judge a book. I said, y'all have the same grandmama idea. You see, our problem is we put emphasis on the package and not the gift. You see, we, 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 we judge uh, the value of a gift by what is wrapped in. And I often ask myself, why would God risk his best gift being rejected by putting it in an unpreferred package? A ghetto girl, a, a peasant girl, a single mother, 17 years. Why would God risk Jesus being rejected by putting this valuable gift in a lonely package? i tell you why, Brother Daniels. Because God never wanted you to celebrate the package. He wanted you to appreciate the gift. See, see, too many people get wrapped up in the package. And we forget the value of the gift. Our Catholic friends celebrate Mary. But God never wanted you to celebrate the package. He wanted you to celebrate It's not about Mary, it's about Jesus. The glory comes in the gift and the giver of the gift and not the package. 